The MLS UK Show. If you want to support the MLS UK Show, you can do by subscribing on your podcast provider. Or below this video, you can subscribe and press the notification bell to do it on YouTube. But to round off the West, there's only one way to do it, especially on an MLS UK Show preview show. It's Poppy's Kit Reviews for the West. Um, the, let's start with Austin FC then, because we'll do it in alphabetical order. Austin okay. FC, uh, they've brought out two kits naturally because it's their first season. The home shirt is the green and black stripes. The away shirt is the white. Uh, it's the old school Adidas now. It's last yeah. year's Adidas with the green uh, stripes coming down the shoulder and it's all white. I showed Poppy the home kit, the mm -hmm. green and black one. Here's what she had to say about it. Oh, it's just so boring. Is that a little tree on their badge? That's cool. Do they have a lot of trees in Austin? <laughs> They've got a lot of trees in Austin. Um, yes, that's why it's on the badge. And do you know what? I said earlier about the stripes. I'm not a fan of the stripes on any team. The green and black is working for me, and I don't know what it is. I like it. Colorado, Rapids, their away kit is white. Kind of turquoise sort of Adidas stripes on it. It actually looks, uh, it really looks really smart. I like the colour on it, but did Poppy agree? I actually love that colour. Not the white, the sleevey bits, the green. It's like a mint green, isn't it? Like You know what? That might be my favourite colour. It's her favourite colour. Yeah, so Describes it as mint green. Uh, kind of turquoisey, mint green. We'll give her the benefit of a doubt. Um, although, benefit of a doubt is something I can't give her. You see there that on the FC Dallas, uh, there's two buttons for FC Dallas. Yes. Now, when I said, right, here's FC Dallas's kit... This was her reaction. Dallas Cowboys. No. She's still learning. <laughs> uh, not quite. Not quite. You know, it is obviously Dallas Cowboys is a sporting team. So, but she's still learning. Uh, I corrected her though. Uh, this is the FC Dallas away kit. It's a kind of like a, a very pale blue with sort of red and darker blue, kind of like uh, ice cream sprinkles on it. And that's where Poppy went with this. Here's what she said. It is when you go to one of those funky ice cream shops and they've like created their own bubblegum ice cream and it's just like got loads of random stuff in it. I don't like it. I love these. I love, I just love her so much. Like how have you arrived at an ice cream parlor making their own bubblegum ice cream from looking at a football kit? Yeah, I mean, I'm Marina, and I don't know what goes on in her head. So, uh, right, let's move on to Houston then. I think this is quite sharp, this one. What's she had to say about Houston's orange kit? I love that colour orange, but it is boring. Loves the colour, but it's boring. Yeah, so kit's boring, loves the colour though. Um, next up, we've got LA Galaxy. Now, this LA Galaxy one has been the most talked about kit. Yeah of the year it's a retro look at the 1996 kit it's uh sort of um green and black and navy blue stripes kind of similar to the austin kit Did she said the austin kit was boring will she agree with this here we go i'm not even going to justify this shirt because that is the worst thing i've ever oh, seen in my life no. this is the standard uk 17 year old going on the first lads holiday thinking that they're going to buy a funky, like, holiday shirt. No, it's a no from me. Wow. That's the best-selling shirt on Soccer90.com. When wow. that went off, it was gone straight away. Well, according to Poppy, it's what 17-year-old lads wear in England to go abroad for the first time without the parents to try and be funky. She's not having it. Next, LAFC. Uh, LAFC, it's kind of a creamy colour with a, a black trim on the collar. Um, and it's, it's, it's got kind of black... The cuffs. The, yeah. The... It reminds me of um, the sporty leisure wear that girls seem to wear these days. You know, like with Calvin Klein. Yes, but it's got Los Angeles written on it. What did you think of this? I like the Los Angeles around the sleeve. I'm feeling that. The rest of the shirt is just a bit boring, but... You know, sometimes sometimes black and white is just simple enough. Yeah, I, I like the cuffs. And I've seen a few people say, oh, no, I prefer it without the... I like them. It's a nice touch. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, next, Minnesota. Standard blue kit for Minnesota. <laughs> Come on. Give me some patterns, please. I'm fed up with the plain shirts now. And to say they've hired a designer to do this, the designer's literally gone, okay, you got a sponsor. Stick it in the middle. What colour are you? Blue, great. There you go. I can't disagree, and I know a lot of people have said that the kits, some of the kits are a bit boring yeah. this year, just very plain. 
I have to agree with that. I've got to say, though, I saw a lot of people saying that, so it made me think that, oh, all these kits are going to be boring. I was worried. There are a lot with funky designs mm. on it. One of them is RSL. They're away kit. It's white with a bit of a funky design on it, but it's not as uh, bold as, say, the Philadelphia kit. So what did she think of this one? I am so close to the computer right now to see that, and it's a really funky pattern. I just think it would have been cooler if it was a bit bolder. But you know what? I'll give it to them. I like that one. So she's a fan of that one. Yeah. Next is Portland Timbers. Now, remember last year, she did say that she didn't like a green kit because, in her words, you come dress as the pitch. <laughs> Portland's kit this year is two different shades of green with it kind of looks like it's stitched up. Do you remember I bought the original shirt of this when we went shopping? Yes, she did. Uh, and it's stitched up like a, like a baseball or yeah. a cricket ball. So does she like this one? To me, it just looks like They've um, run out of material and sewn different sleeves on. <laughs> There's Portland fans that have waited an hour to find out what she thinks of their kit and they get that. It just looks like they've um, run out of material and sewn different sleeves on. San Jose is just blue. What should, let's see what she thinks of it. Sure, this will go down well. It's just a blue shirt. <laughs> just a blue shirt something that you can't say is just a blue shirt is the Seattle Sounders away shirt now she's uh, claimed that the into Miami shirt earlier that was black uh, but as if you've uh, emptying your paint pot and it's going down mm. the sink now this is very similar but purple but the design this has been one of the most craved kits as well yeah. of the uh, closed season does she like the Seattle Sounders kit have they made up for last year this is amazing this is like those artwork where you pour all the different color acrylic paint in and then pour it onto a canvas i love this and i love that they put purple and orange together that is great it is bold the hendrix kit of course it is bold i like it as well yeah me too uh sporting kc next it's uh well, it's light blue and then dark blue in uh, horizontal lines. It's pretty boring, but there's there's nothing bad to say about that one. It's it's quite nice. <laughs> there you go. A deep, insightful view there. <laughs> yeah, so some kits she does give that insightful, like Dallas is like bubblegum ice cream. Mm. You know, she's delving into a real creative mind. And then there's others. It's just a blue shirt. <laughs> like that one, yeah. Uh, last but certainly not least, Vancouver white caps. It's a white shirt. It's... Uh, Dark blue in the middle, horizontal, kind of similar to SKC. What does she think of this one? If you're like a little bit chunky and you're wearing this, it's just going to like really exaggerate your belly because it's basically just putting like a corset around your waist <laughs> and your belly's hanging out the bottom. The Vancouver corsets. It does roll off the tongue, doesn't it? Mm. So there you go. I think me and you, we will not be buying. Caps and corsets. Yeah. Love it. Um, uh, so they're all 27 kits. Now... Every year, she likes to tell us what her favourite is. What do you think she's? What do you think she's going to choose as her favourite, and what's your favourite? Uh, well, I know for a fact it's not going to be this one. It's just a blue shirt. <laughs> so I'm going to say probably the Seattle one's going to have stolen it for her. Okay, what's your favourite kit? Um, do you know what? Right, one thing I wanted to point out: Orlando haven't got the best kit in in the whole league. The one I'm wearing right now. Do you know why I like it though? Go on. Is because the last two purple Orlando shirts, they've not had the white Adidas stripes. And for some reason, it just looks classic. It's back to the Kakar era. Yeah. I, I, I mean, we had no success then. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually a big fan of this. I'm, I'm liking it. Okay. But um, Seattle probably steals it for me as well. Um, well, she's chosen two favourites. Would you like to play? These are Poppy's favourite kits for 2021. So last year, I feel like I was particularly hard on Seattle Sounders. Well, I can tell you now that my two favourite kits of this year are Seattle Sounders and Miami. Well done. Oh, uh, Shame about the Miami. I've got to say, that Miami kit, I quite like that. If I was to get a kit that wasn't Atlanta, I would probably choose the Miami one. You chose Seattle, so we, we kind of guessed it. Um, well done if your team was amongst Poppy's favourite kits of 2021. Apologies to San Jose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and apologies to San Jose. Elliot Holman, Henry Hewitt. MLS UK Show.